Darren. You might be needing to produce some face covering soon because we need to wear masks now on public transport and in certain types of shop. And you might have one or two of these sort of neck buffs or neck warmers or tube scarves or snoods or neck gaiters or whatever you call them lying around your house. Certainly if you're a runner, you'll have one or two of these. Um, I just want to show you a way to make them into face masks that's really quite good. Now, you could do this, pull them over your face and go for the sort of cowboy gangster look, which is fine, but it's really not very thick and it's not going to protect many people from your sort of coughs and sneezes if you happen to be infected and don't know about it. Something that some people are doing is they're sort of folding it over two or three times into a, into a ring, pulling that on, and that's quite good, and it feels quite good as well, but what I'm finding with this is that as I move my head and as I move my face, gradually, what happens is it comes off the nose, comes off the mouth, and I'm not having to pick it up and put it back. Now, if I'm having to pick it up and put it back with dirty hands, that's not good for me either, and it's not really covering the bottom of my face very well on this occasion. So that's another method, but you can go a little bit better. And there's one that's, there's a way of making a, a buff or a neck gaiter into a face mask that just works that bit better. Uh, you can put a filter in it to make it work better still. And just with a couple of elastic bands, you can fit it on your face like this. It sits in place, it sits nice and tight and it protects certainly other people. It's not there to protect you, but it's there to protect others. And if you give me a few minutes, a couple of minutes, I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so in order to make one of these face masks, you need one of these sort of multi-purpose tube, scarf, headband thing. They go by a variety of names, but they're most commonly called buffs, but they can be called neck gaiters. If you want, for extra security, a little piece of kitchen towel and two elastic bands. Or, if you've got one that are long enough, you could use a couple of hair scrunchies as well. Simply, you take your tube scarf and you fold it in thirds. Fold it like that. If you wanted to beforehand, you could have put in your kitchen towel. and then folded it in thirds. Fold the kitchen towel in thirds, th in thirds first. And then fold your buff over the top of it. You get your two elastic bands and put them in to about there. One round one end, one round the other. And then once you're happy with that, you just fold one end in and the other end in and just fold out the sides so that it fits on your face. So put it on then, you just take the two elastic band ends, pick up the mask and put it on your face. 